there was a wonderful gentleman attending one of my soup classes recently. Towards the end of class, he shook his head and said, the class is almost over and I'm yet to see you use a measuring cup. <laughs> yes, making soups is not about measuring cups. Sure, I use measuring cups when I'm testing recipes for you or when I'm cooking on camera so that I can give you rough measurements. But your biggest allies when it comes to making a soup are your taste buds, not your measuring cups. Great soups are all about combining delicious components. That's actually what all cooking is about. The exact ratio of these components doesn't really matter. Take French onion soup, for example. It's the marriage of caramelized onions and stock. If you nail both of these components, you'll be rewarded with the most amazing soup, whether you have a bit more onions or a bit more stock. Since we made caramelized onions and stock in our last two videos, see the links below, the soup itself will be a cinch. I just finished caramelizing onions, so I'll make the onion soup in the same skillet. Pots are totally overrated. Who says you can't make a soup in a skillet? I'm using one cup of caramelized onions, which is half of the batch that I made in the caramelized onion video. This will make two to three portions of soup, but you can multiply this recipe as you wish. Let's warm the onions back up and then add a third of a cup of dry white wine. This will give our soup much needed acidity. Simmer medium heat for about five minutes. During this time, the wine will reduce and the alcohol will evaporate. Then add about three cups of brown chicken stock or beef stock. I'll link to my brown chicken stock video below. Since my stock is very reduced, I'll use about half a cup of this concentrate and two and a half cups of water. You could even add more water if you were trying to stretch the soup to serve another person. I'll also add a few thyme sprigs tied with butcher wine so that I can easily fish them out later. Bring to a boil, then simmer gently for 15 minutes. Taste and adjust for salt. My onions were already salted, but then I dumped three cups of unsalted stock into them. No wonder that I needed salt. Now that's better. Take off heat, remove thyme, and let it sit for 20 minutes to blend all the flavors. You can even make this soup a few days ahead. While our soup is resting, let's make the toasts. Preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit and brush some good crusty bread with olive oil on both sides. Toast in the oven until crispy and brown 10 to 15 minutes. Warm up the soup, pour into broiler-safe bowls and top with toasts. I like to break them up to make them easier to scoop with a spoon. Sprinkle with grated gruyere and pop under the broiler for a minute or two until the cheese melts. Wow, Julia Child would be proud. And so would Semin Nosrat. If you are not familiar with her work, look up her book, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat. It will really open your eyes to what's important in cooking. This soup is an amazing example of how salt, fat, acid, and heat can transform the most humble ingredients into something magical. If you have a question or if you try to make this soup and have feedback for me, don't forget to start your comment with hashtag RealComment. Here are some more in-depth cooking tutorials for you to check out and if you are ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.